Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Hi, ah, evening YouTube. Here with you on this Sunday evening to show you that I yes I have been working on this and I have it pretty well fitted into the uh, slot fits rather tight sits on the bottom which is what I wanted it's a little bit hard to get in there sometimes part of it has to do with me pushing against the uh, case pushing down like that it makes that close that uh, that close a little bit. As you can see, it's it's pretty well in there. I'm, let me get the other camera and show you a little better with it. All right, you can see here. Uh, just a little bit. Look at it this way. It is in there really nice and and uh, tight. It's laying or it's flat on the bottom. And you can see there's some daylight on either side of the curved part, but the rest of it's right on flat on the bottom. It's good and good and solid in there. So the next thing I got to do is make some holes for the uh, screws. I'll go ahead and put those in from the back as far as the drilling so I can get those lined up perfectly. And we'll put that in there and see how she looks then. So we'll be back. Alright, there we have the uh, finished product. It is in there really good solid. And you can see I have it... Uh, lock washer and washered and nutted and whatever in so it's in there good and solid like I said so like I say that is going to be the finished product of that um, I'm happy with the way it turned out um, shouldn't be any, any problem getting the uh, what he calls on there I'll, I can go ahead and take this back off it, it comes off pretty easy I mean obviously just two screws and the nuts and things and comes right off so that is going to work for that really nice I do believe so I'm happy with that I think I said that already I said it again happy with that so I don't know I may get a chance to turn the uh, soldering iron on and play around with this a little bit more this evening this didn't take as long as I thought it would I still need to uh, take the top um, the black piece that comes over the top of that and I'll have to uh, put a, a hole in it to match that to, to where it uh, probably come out to here to give it room for the screws and things like that so that's got to be done so I may do that next just to get that out of the way and see what we got so bring it back all right there you can see the uh, what I have to contend with now is this uh, black part. It's pretty much lined up on the screw holes up here, down here. So that's where it's got to go. So I'm going to have to cut out around that. And I think I want to cut out those. I keep missing where I'm. Uh, I think I want to cut out around those screw holes too. Uh, I think it would be better because I think the uh, cover will fit flusher with the cut out around there also. So may see what that entails uh, doing and everything like that. I don't want to get this marked out. And uh, I have another one I can use for, uh, you know, for a template to mark that out. So I may do that. And I think what I'll do is put a couple screws in there and mark it out and then go from there. I think that'd be the way to do it. So, all right, bring it back when I mark it out. All right, there's a general outline of what i got to cut out. Uh, probably come down to the this part over here and then come straight down probably just want to get it out to where it won't be a problem as far as clearing that uh, the rest of that uh, socket there so that's what we're going to do next oh boy watch out here comes the sparks alright there we have the cutout uh, it's a little rough right at the moment I haven't smoothed it out but uh it does fit very well so I'm happy about that and that should work out rather well I think 
take it smooth out a little bit on this side a little bit and just smooth the whole thing a little bit. It's got some burrs on it and things. But uh, that'll take care of that with the little small stone real quick. Make quick work of it. It's, uh, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. Gets the job done. That's all I ask. Probably shouldn't have come out so far on this, but I, I basically use the this for the uh, outline, so as you can see it comes down quite a bit further than the screws do, so anywho, that'll work. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and smooth it out with this small stone and get this, uh, that'll be done, and then we can move on to the circuit board. Won't that be fun? Let me set this down like it's supposed to be. See what it looks like. Yeah, that don't look bad. Don't look bad at all. It should work just rather well, I think. So, that's that. Bring you back when I have more. And with the uh, magic of video, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> a little bit hard to say. Show. Uh, changed out. Uh, also clean this ground peg off. I was gonna I was gonna do this with all of them, but I'm not so sure now after doing the ground bag. It was very difficult to get back in. I may do it, I don't know, it just depends. But uh, anyway those uh, capacitors are now changed and it's uh, there are the old ones. So that's uh, looking good. Uh, probably the next thing I do will be checking resistors. Uh, I'm not going to do that today. It's already getting late. I have no idea what time it is, but it is... Oh, quarter after eight. All right, this is later than I thought it was. So, All right, well, let's say I want to wrap this up. And this is going to conclude this video. Probably be posted tomorrow sometime. Um, still a nice day out there. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um... Thanks so much for watching, and we will oops, see ya.